Hi there, it's Jenna from scribblinggrace.com. Today I am starting a series where I'm going to use household objects to create fun backgrounds for Bible journaling. So today I'm going to create a really cool pattern and I'm going to use a fork and some acrylic paints. So um, there's lots of other things you can do with a fork. When I talk about them a little bit in the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash fork. Um, and I'll put that link in the description below. So today I'm just going to show you one way that you can use this to create a cool pattern. But of course there's other things you can do. So be sure to check out that blog post and um, also have fun with it yourself. Maybe uh, use the idea of a fork and try to come up with your own pattern that you can do. So um, for this one here, I'm just taking my paint that I just have on a paper plate. I'm using an apple barrel acrylic paints. And I dip my fork into that and then just press it onto my page. And I'm varying up the direction that my fork is facing. So um, I'm going from vertical to horizontal and whatnot. And um, you'll notice that I have quite a few blobs. Not all of my lines are perfect. Um, sometimes the paint kind of comes out a little funky and some of them, um, sometimes the paint doesn't really catch or you don't have enough paint so it leaves some little open spaces but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to fix some of those um, lines that uh, have the little open spaces or the breaks in them later on. But I'm also using this as a practice to be a little imperfect and just enjoy the time spent in the Word, which is always one of my favorite things. So um, I always encourage you to just have fun with it and try new things. So this is one of those times we're trying something new, and it's a really cool thing to do. So, um, so I went ahead and just added my pattern around my page, leaving a little space for me to do my lettering in. And now I'm just going to go ahead and fix some of those lines and... Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and do some lettering. So um, I want to point out I'm using a plastic fork and I don't think it really matters um, but I think the plastic forks have a little more bend to them so it's a little bit easier to use. Um, I also did not press down the entire fork. I only tried to press down the top half of that fork tongs if that makes any sense. <laughs> So that's about it for my entire background. Of course, you could also do things like switch up colors and do like um, maybe every horizontal is going to be one color and every vertical is going to be a different color. And um, definitely there's other options you can do even with just this pattern. And uh, again, be sure to check out that blog post for other options on using uh, a fork in your Bible journaling. <laughs> So I decided to keep my lettering super simple this time and not do calligraphy for one of the first times. I know, <laughs> switching it up and just doing some normal capital um, lettering here. And uh, the verse that I'm working on here is Psalms 133 verse 1, which says, How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Um, how wonderful is that verse and how true is it? Um, wish there's a little more unity in our world right now. So, um, anyways, I'm using a Uniball Signo pink gel pen here, and I'll put the links to all of the supplies that I use in that blog post. Gel pens are really great because they don't bleed through the Bible page, and uh, these Uniball Signos do come in quite a few colors. I use the white one all the time to add some shadowing or highlight to my Bible pages or my lettering. Um, and this time I thought I would go ahead and use the pink to contrast with that pretty teal color. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That's my page. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, be sure to check out that blog post. I'll put that link in the description below. Alright, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.